almost forgot that. All right. Same features as your desk phone. Also, uh, same dis uh, display. You have call, wait, uh, call waiting, message waiting indicator, speaker phone mute, redial, those type features. So we'll jump right in here. The soft phone is part of Power User. Power User gives you also Flare, One X Portal, mobility app for different uh, smartphones. You have Call Assistant, the Outlook add-in. You also get the soft phone application and functionality with just a teleworker license. But with just a few more dollars, you get the Power User li license and you get all these features. So we really talk about soft phone with a Power User license. These are the requirements for the soft phone application. I'll tell you, most PCs, laptops today, you're going to be hard pressed to find a laptop or a PC that doesn't meet the requirements. There's not a whole lot of special um, um, resources that you're going to need. Now, the soft phone does have HD video capability, so that may be one aspect of the laptop that you want to make sure you integrate if you want to, if you're concerned with HD quality on your videos. But uh, other than that, you're going to be pretty good. Also, the soft phone is uh, Mac capable, so you can install it on a Mac and it'll work just fine. Now, as far as your IP office is concerned, you, there are some hardware requirements and software requirements you're going to need there. The big one is going to be the VCM card. You'll need that to make this work. Uh, if you have are currently running IP phones, you're going to have a VCM card in your system. If you're not sure if you're running a digital setup or digital phones, you can give us a call and we can look through Manager and determine if you have a VCM in there. Um, if you just want to look at the front and you have an IP500, this is what the VCM card looks like. You'll actually have a label on it that says VCM. There's two different types of VCM cards. There's a VCM32, a VCM64. It's Either one will work for what we're talking about today in regards to soft phone. Soft phone also gives you presence capabilities where you can see whether or not your coworkers are are on a call or available. To have that feature active, you'll need the One X portal deployed. The One X portal is the backbone for the presence, and also chat. I didn't mention that on here, but chat requires the One X portal as well. It's not required to make soft phone work just for calls and, and that part of it, but uh, for the presence it is. Also, um, from a system-wide perspective, you're going to need the Essential Edition license as well as Preferred. If you have Voicemail Pro, you have Preferred. If you have questions regarding that, you can also just contact us and we can look at your config and determine if you're on par with that. And again, you'll need per user, the power user license or teleworker license for each individual that's going to be using the soft phone application. The video today, though, we're going to just be talking about how to use soft phone. We may do another video in the future on how to set it up, kind of the back end configuration of each individual user. But we're going to be more concerned today on actually how to use it. This is a high-level view of the setup you need to have to make this work. So basically, you have your corporate office. You're going to have a VPN gateway that's attached to the Internet. Then you have your VPN client on a laptop or a PC. And this could be at a house. It could be at a hotel. It could be at Starbucks. Basically, you activate, you connect to the Internet wherever you're at, activate your VPN connection, and then you can log into soft phone. And your soft phone then acts as an extension, and you can make and receive phone calls. All right, let's take a look at soft phone here. Enough of that. This is soft phone. So what is soft phone? Soft phone is an application that you install on your PC. Okay, and it actually acts as your extension. It's different from other applications such as a call, where the other applications are call control like One X Portal and that. Those can control your extension, but it, it's your desk phone. Whereas this actually turns your laptop or your PC 
into your actual phone where you can make and receive phone calls. This is good for business travelers. We've had customers who go overseas, maybe to Mexico or to Europe. They access internet over the Wi-Fi in their hotel room. They connect through VPN, log into soft phone, and they can make and receive phone calls through that. It, because it's all VoIP and over the internet, they're not being charged international rates, which is uh, uh, very expensive. So that right there can pay in itself. One trip with an executive overseas will pay for that license pretty quick. Also, we have case studies where we have customers who have put soft phone on all of their help desk employees so that their help desk is available. Maybe it's a nice day here in the Metroplex, Dallas-Fort Worth area, but that help desk is nationwide, so they need to be able to receive hunt group calls even on days where they can't be in the office. It's handy for that as well. Or maybe you have an employee who's going to be out for an extended period of time, can't be in the office, but they can still contribute to the team and add value if they're able to work from home or remotely for a little while. And that's another scenario where a soft phone could be useful. So we'll get right into it here. Up here at the top left, you see the presence. You can see that I'm available. I can change myself to busy, away, on the phone. These are some of the present settings that are kind of that are being com are coming from one X portal. Also down here, you see the contacts. I can see who's available online. I see that Richard's available, Wendy's available. So if I wanted to make, I can make a phone call to these guys. I can also send them a instant message. Just like that. That's good. I can send, like Richard, a chat. I can say, hey, Richard, we're going to have a conference call at 1130. Can you jump on it? And he says, yes. We both know. Without making a phone call to be available to jump on the call. Just another way to uh, stay in touch with everybody. Also, we have here the history. Okay, we can see all calls that have been made or received. We can see missed calls. Received calls, outbound calls, numbers that I've dialed. You can also do a search here. Let's say I want to see if Aaron's tried to contact me. Yep, there's Aaron. We can see if, uh, let's say, Richard, Richard's, you know, any calls that I've made to Richard or I've received from Richard. The different icons, that icon here with the blue arrow, that's an outbound. The green arrow, that's inbound. And you can see that the red X here, that's, those are missed calls. So with, that, with a glance, I kind of get a history, a view of what's been going on. Let's go through. We also have our directory here. I can scroll through here and see extensions if I need to be able to view that. Also, on your desk phone, you have buttons that allow you additional features. You may have a couple of part slots. You may have a record button. You may have a forward button. And we can add those buttons inside of here just as easily. I'll add one here. Let's see what we want to add. Maybe a do not disturb. We can also add I think there's a record, a call record. We can add different buttons. Also, you can add a couple of part slots if you'd like to do that. You can arrange, if you need more buttons, you can go up to 10. So, uh, that's 10 per row, so that's 30 buttons there. You can go down to four, four, row, or four uh, buttons per row. So you can add plenty of buttons. That's usually not a problem. Then we can go to speed dial. So this is handy also. If you're working on a laptop, the keys are small, so it may be hard to, or you don't want to punch in the numbers here. You just add your frequent contacts. This is real handy, especially inside of the soft phone. You can just click the dial individuals. Up across the top, we can see uh, this, these are different voicemails that I have. If I were to click that, it would automatically dial into my voicemail box, and I could have the option to listen to those voicemails. 
if I had any active calls that were missed or just recently missed, this would light up as missed calls. I can mute myself while I'm on a phone call. I can adjust volume, speakerphone. This is also the video here. There it goes. And with this application, you can send, uh, make calls using video. We're gonna we're gonna do that here in just a second. So what we'll do is we'll make a call to Hugh on the desk there. We'll make a video call and let's see. I know he is waiting my call. Oh, he answers. Good morning, Hugh. Good morning, Paul. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hey, we have a live audience here. So you, can, everybody can see. Here we have uh, HD video. Now it's going to be dependent on everybody's camera to be HD, but uh, it is HD capable. Also, you have to keep in mind your bandwidth, but uh, for the most part, it works pretty good. How's things going in there today, Hugh? Good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, if we had more individuals, we'd see just more squares. Kind of gives you the Brady Bunch look there. If you, I think you can have um, I know you can at least have six, maybe even more more than that. But this is also useful in scenarios. Maybe you just you have a technical issue that you're working with another individual, and you can take the camera and point it to maybe a closet. You're trying to walk them through different uh, scenarios. Let's see. We have a question. Hey, Hugh. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. Have a good one, buddy. All right. in that. We have a question here from Ronnie. Let me read it. Yes, Ronnie's asking about the directory. This is the directory on the system, but I think your your question is probably applies to the contacts list. I may have skimmed over that, but you can create a different contacts list. And these contacts can be internal and external as well. As well, and you can create the um, group. And then in here, you can add external contacts. So for your speed dial, hope that answers that question for you. But um, let's see, is it, are there any other questions? You also have a number pad here. You can you can just dial straight up numbers, internal, external, extensions as well. If you're on a call, you have the features to transfer. Also, place calls on hold. You can do conference calls through here as well. And that's a big chunk of the software. It's a real handy application, especially for people that hit the road. Uh, also, um, you're employees that are critical to your day-to-day -day business. If they're uh, unavailable, maybe they can't be local, you need to have the software on them so they can always be accessed. I have another question here from Stacy. How do you get the soft phone? The soft phone is on the Avaya website, and we have logins to that at the help desk. So if you want to get the download for it, just contact the help desk. And we can download it for you, Stacy. We can give you a copy of it, and uh, uh, you can install it and take a look at it. All right. If there's not any other questions, we'll kind of wrap this up. We do these guru sessions once a month at least. Some months we do more than one. We try to do a session where we kind of show you the application as from a user perspective. And we also, once a month, try to give you a guru session where we take it from a technical as aspect and show you maybe the setup of it. So we'll do that a video on that with the software where we show you how to set it up, the licenses you need, the configurations on the user level inside a manager to make the software work. You can always contact us at support at agilitycg.com if you have trouble with your software or you need us to help you set it up. 
we can we can help you out there. At the end of this, when we wrap this up, you all will all get a survey and just ask you a few questions. Hopefully you found some useful information on this. Also, if you want to see some of the dates on future videos, you can go to the agilitycg.com forward slash events and we'll have some dates in there. And um, if you guys don't have support contracts, go ahead and uh, reach out to a sales rep. Get a pricing on that. It may be cheaper than you think. And uh, those are always useful, especially when you're having issues. But uh, other than that, that pretty much wraps up our video on soft phone. And I don't see any more questions out there. So, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and look forward to seeing you shortly. Oh, there's another question. Melissa writes in. Let's see. Do we have a password to hear our voice messages? I'm not sure if you're referring to the voicemail here. Yes, if you were to go into here and wanted to listen to your voice messages, it can be configured to where you have to put a password in. It can also be configured to where it just logs in. Oh, another good question concerning uh, speakerphone and microphone. Uh, you can use the built-in mic. Ronnie on the laptop, I would strongly advise using, I'm going to go back to video here real quick. I would advise using a headset, maybe something similar to this. I don't know if you can see that. But and it just plugs in with a connector like this here. Okay, These work real, real uh, well. It keeps the echo down on some of the phone calls that you're on. It's also handy. You're not having to shout into your laptop, especially if you're in a public area. But a built, the built-in speakers, built-in laptop on your, uh, or built-in speakers and built-in mic on your laptop work just fine as well. Let's see if there's any other question. Does video only work for power user? Uh, no, the video I believe is part of the whole package. So with teleworker, it should work as well. But I'll, you know what, I'll find out for sure, Melissa, and send that out. But uh, I'm going to say, yes, it does. It's teleworker license enables the video as well. All right, I don't see any more questions. So uh, anyway, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys shortly. Thank you.